July 20th 1969 marked a bold new milestone in the history of the human civilization on that day Neil Armstrong became the first person to set foot on the surface of the moon in that iconic moment science fiction became science fact humankind transcended its earthbound limitations and all things must have seemed possible in fact the July 20th moon landing represented the culmination of nearly a decade of work by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA initiated in 1961 the Apollo program aimed to meet President John F Kennedy's aim of landing a man on the moon by the end of the decade with the Apollo 11 mission the United States met that goal and claimed a major Cold War victory too indeed the so-called space race which pitted East against West in a technological scramble to reach the lunar surface was effectively over with Armstrong's moonwalk nonetheless NASA achieved five more moon landings before the program was fully decommissioned in 1972 the stunning imagery captured by Apollo astronauts conveys the heroism and wonder of bygone era however many Americans doubt the moon landings ever happened at all indeed rationalists will shudder at the figures a 1994 Washington Post poll for example found 9% of respondents thought that the astronauts may not have gone to the moon an additional 5% were not sure likewise 6% of those surveyed in the 1999 Gallup poll suspected that the moon landings were not real along with 5% who did not hold any opinion a 1995 survey by time and CNN made similar findings the claim that the moon landings were faked appears to have first emerged after Watergate at a time when public trust in officials was at a historic low one of the earliest proponents seems to have been former US Navy officer Bill Casing who self-published a 1976 book called we never went to the moon America's 30 billion dollar swindle casing asserted that the odds of a successful moon landing were 0.0017 percent casing may have been the first to make such assertions but he was by no means the last in 1980 the flat earth society advanced a particularly flamboyant theory in which Walt Disney provided the backing for a staged version of the Apollo 11 mission supposedly Stanley Kubrick the director of 2001 a space odyssey filmed in a Hollywood studio and somewhat enticingly Arthur C Clarke wrote the script in fact a host of commenters have advanced moon landing conspiracy theories over the years and not all of them are as wacky as the flat earth society at least not ostensibly they include professional writers journalists filmmakers politicians radio hosts a CEO and even a nuclear engineer the theories vary for example some claim the landings were real and only the footage was faked but none stands up to scrutiny in any case why would the US fake the moon landings according to the conspiracy theorist one of the main motives was winning the space race but if so it was an inherently risky strategy the Soviet Union had its own space program analysts and experts and a formidable intelligence community exposing such a conspiracy would have been a massive propaganda victory for the USSR indeed given the scale and complexity of such a supposed conspiracy it seems doubtful that it could have been kept secret in fact the plot would have involved the approximately 400,000 employees who contributed to the Apollo project over the course of a decade including two dozen astronauts who flew missions to the moon but regardless of logical argument conspirators claim that there's a range of evidence to support their claims much of it photographic in one famous NASA image for example the US flag appears to be fluttering from a flagpole on the lunar surface conspiracists claim that this is impossible because there's no wind on the moon in fact the flag was creased from being in storage and hung using an r-shaped rod indeed NASA photos have been the basis for many faked moon landing theories and now the conspiracists have a wealth of new material to sift through in 2015 Kip Teague and information technology director based in Lynchburg Virginia released a cache of 8,400 high-resolution NASA photos including shots taken by the astronauts with chest mounted Hasselblad cameras the photos were published on the image sharing website Flickr to complement the project Apollo archive an online photographic archive started by Teague in 1999 around 2004 Johnson Space Center began rescanning the original Apollo Hasselblad camera film magazines he told the Planetary Society a nonprofit organization dedicated to science education in 2015 I began obtaining TIFF that's uncompressed high-resolution versions of new scans on DVD these images were processed for inclusion on 
Project Apollo Archive, including adjusting color and brightness levels and reducing the images in size to about 1,000 dpi dots per inch for the high-resolution versions. After receiving multiple queries about the images, which perhaps pertain to conspiracy theories, Teague re-released the entire archive on Flickr in an unedited and unprocessed state. The collection includes blurry and poorly composed shots along with visually impressive renditions of lunar landscapes. At times, the archive has a kitsch quality. It looks not unlike an album of family snaps. Specifically, the collection includes images from all Apollo moon missions, not just the iconic Apollo 11 landing. Each exploration carried new technology and unique mission directives, suggesting a growing familiarity with the lunar landscape. With Apollo 12, for example, the astronauts managed to land their craft at a very precise point near an abandoned lunar probe. And on the Apollo 14 mission, Commander Alan Shepard famously knocked some golf balls across the lunar surface. The crew, which included Command Module Pilot Stuart Rusa and Lunar Module Pilot Edgar Mitchell, also retrieved 94.35 pounds of moon rocks for analysis. And the tree seeds they took with them on their journey successfully germinated on their return. Apollo 15 marked the start of long-stay missions on the moon and the first-ever deployment of NASA's lunar roving vehicle. Over the course of three days, Commander David Scott and Lunar Module Pilot James Irwin documented the lunar surface. They used an array of scientific equipment, including a gamma-ray spectrometer, a laser altimeter, and a mapping camera. Apollo 17 was the last Apollo mission. Led by Commander Eugene Cernan, it involved a three-day scientific survey of the taurus Littrow Valley. The mission broke records for the longest period in lunar orbit, the longest time on the surface of the moon, the longest total time in moonwalks, and the largest sample of moon rock ever collected. But NASA has not returned to the moon since. So there's an overwhelming amount of physical evidence that NASA did land a man on the moon several times. However, hardened conspiracy theorists are unlikely to be swayed by Teague's archive. In 2017, for example, one YouTube user called Street Camp One asserted that the reflection on the visor of an Apollo 17 astronaut revealed a figure of a human not wearing a spacesuit. You can see it looks like a man, wrote Street Cap One, suggesting the figure was some sort of stagehand. Back in the early 70s, long hair wearing some sort of waist type thing. Evidently, YouTube has a lot to answer for. However, it's not only social media websites that bear responsibility for propagating outlandish conspiracy theories. In 2001, the Fox Network aired a program called Conspiracy Theory – Did We Land on the Moon? The network special was said to have been sympathetic toward the moon landing conspiracy theories, and in its aftermath, skepticism towards the moon landings climbed to 20% among a sample pulled by the network. Thanks to the fake news, the theories of fake moon landings have stood the test of time, and they'll probably outlive us all. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.